Okay, hello everybody. Today, this lecture is about starlight and atoms. We're going to discuss the relation between uh, the light coming out of stars, how this light can have some characteristics caused from the at atoms and the uh, uh, components of this stellar system, which can we can know through it the chemical composition of a star or some properties like the temperature, the brightness, we can, so ma we can know many things about that star from its spectrum. So uh, let's see our contents today. So the outline is, first of all we will discuss the relation between temperature and he heat and the origin of starlight. We will discuss the two radiation laws and the color, we will know what, what's, what's the color index. Okay. Um, we will also go to the atoms and see the models of the atoms and the different kinds of atoms. We will understand what's an electron shell and this will guide us to the understanding, sorry, the understanding of the, the excitation of atoms and the formation of a spectrum. Uh, we will also get used to uh, new uh, terms like the Balmer thermometer, the spectral classification, the composition of the stars, and by the end of the lecture we will study the Doppler effect and we will see how to calculate the um, uh, velocity of a preceding star from its redshift. Okay, so just by analyzing the light received from a star, astronomers can retrieve information about stars like the total energy output, the surface temperature, the radius, and the velocity, the chemical composition, and the rotation period. So, first of all, some stars have different colors and those colors actually can tell us a lot about the star's uh, temperature because we will see now that when the star is more uh, blue or going to the white it's more hot and when the star goes to the red it's more cool so it's, a, it's not the same like uh, the tap water which is when blue it's cold and red it's hot, no it's not the same and we will see how this relation comes from why the wavelength of the blue is hotter than the wavelength of the red and by the way the blue uh, has higher frequency which is less wavelength and the red has more bigger wavelength which is less frequency. So there is something called the black body radiation. So what is a black body radiation? A black body radiation is uh, when you for example get um, um, a body, okay, so if light falls on this body, you see it due to the reflected body coming from it, the reflected light. But if this body was uh, completely dark, completely black, then it will absorb all the light and there will be no light reflected. But however, those bodies that are black bodies, they can emit light. So this light is not coming from the reflection of light but they are emitting light. 
So, at some point, the elections in this body was excited, so it emits energy in the form of color spectrum. And we can say that each wavelength has its own temperature. Okay, so when you go to the red, when you go to the emission of the red wavelength, its temperature is less than the temperature of the um, uh, uh, the blue color spectrum. So there is a relation that relates the luminosity okay to the temperature so the more luminous it it can be you can get from the luminosity and the area it, you have to get two parameters in order to get the temperature if you have the luminosity of the star and you have the area the surface area of that star you can get the temperature through the Seifenboltzmann constant okay and in another way through Vane's displacement law you can get the temperature of a star from if you have the uh, maximum wavelength okay it's like here on this slide if you have the maximum of the wavelength here you see the maximum this is uh, lambda max here is lambda max here is lambda max so you see the value of this wavelength okay and then it's equal to 3 million nanometers over temperature in Kelvin so this way if you got the uh, the maximum peak wavelength in a profile of a spectrum and we will see how to determine a profile of a spectrum you can actually determine the surface temperature of that star and the, we are talking here about the, the surface temperature of that star okay so as you see the more the blue the more it's hot and the more the red the more it's cool okay and this can we you can do uh, this is determined through something called the um, color index and to determine the color index of a star and the color index is a number which is negative to positive the more negative the more it's going to the blue and the positive it's going to the red um, to determine a star's uh, a star's um, color index it's so easy all you have to do is B minus V in and B is the what you get okay I'll explain it how it's done experimentally uh, the blue is uh, you can just get a blue filter and put it in onto your eyepiece of that telescope the light comes and here you will have a magnitude for that star actually this is called the um, blue magnitude for that star and you get the V which is the normal apparent magnitude and you um, uh, make the difference between those two and here you get the color index so actually all stars and any type of light uh, if this light was a white light you will if this light was passed through um, a prism it will be split into a continuous spectrum